Have you ever wondered who holds the record for the longest fingernails on a pair of hands or the largest collection of rubber ducks? These questions might seem odd but they highlight a deep-rooted human curiosity. A fascination with the extraordinary, the unusual, and the outright bizarre. This curiosity has given birth to the concept of world records, a global platform for showcasing the pinnacle of human achievement in every conceivable field. From the fastest runner to the largest pizza, world records encapsulate the extremes of human potential and the lengths to which people will go to stand out from the crowd. This universal fascination has led to the establishment of the ultimate authority on record-breaking feats, an institution that validates and immortalizes these unique accomplishments for all to admire and aspire to. This fascination led to the creation of a certain record-keeping institution we all know today, the Guinness World Records. The story of Guinness World Records starts in an unexpected place, a shooting party in County Wexford, Ireland in 1951. It was here that the genesis of what we know today as the Guinness World Records began to take shape. The man at the heart of it all was Sir Hugh Beaver, the then managing director of the Guinness Brewery. As one would expect, spirited conversations were part and parcel of the gathering. On this occasion a heated debate about the fastest game bird in Europe sparked off. No one could settle the argument and it was this inability to find an answer that would eventually lead to the birth of the Guinness World Records. Sir Hugh Beaver was struck by the thought, if his party had such disputes surely there must be countless others around the world with similar questions that needed settling. The idea took root, and Sir Hugh Beaver decided to create a reference book that could solve pub arguments, a promotional item for the brewery that could be handed out in bars. The goal was simple, to compile and validate world records, providing definitive answers to the world's biggest questions. Work began, and researchers were dispatched to gather and verify information. They scoured libraries, consulted experts, and worked tirelessly to create a comprehensive record of human achievements and natural phenomena. Before long, the first edition of what was then known as the Guinness Book of Records was in print. This promotional item, intended to quell disputes and promote the Guinness brand, quickly evolved. It was met with unexpected enthusiasm and interest that transcended beyond the simple settling of bar debates. People were fascinated by the extremes of the world, and the Guinness Book of Records became a household name. Thus, a simple argument at a shooting party gave birth to the Guinness World Records. The first edition of the Guinness Book of Records, published in 1955, was intended as a giveaway to promote the Guinness beer brand. What was once a marketing tool, quickly blossomed into a phenomenon that captivated the curiosity of the masses, like a moth to a flame. The initial edition, packed with intriguing facts and figures, sparked a sense of wonder and an insatiable thirst for knowledge. It wasn't long before the book's popularity skyrocketed, prompting the decision to turn it into an annual publication. This decision marked the dawn of a new era, as the Guinness Book of Records started its journey of becoming a household name. The 1960s and 70s were particularly transformative years for the Guinness Book of Records. During these decades the book rapidly expanded its reach far beyond the borders of its birthplace. It was during this period that the book was translated into multiple languages. From French to Spanish, German to Japanese, the book made its way into the homes and hearts of people from all corners of the world. Popularity echoed in sales numbers as well. Copies of the Guinness Book of Records started flying off the shelves in countries the world over. It was clear that the allure of the book was universal. People from different cultures speaking different languages all found common ground in their fascination for the extraordinary, the peculiar, and the record-breaking. The growth of the Guinness Book of Records was not just confined to its global reach and sales figures, it also saw an exponential increase in the number of record categories, with each edition outdoing the previous one. This rapid growth mirrored the human spirit's relentless pursuit of pushing boundaries and achieving the impossible. From a promotional giveaway to a global sensation, the journey of the Guinness Book of Records is as fascinating as the records it hosts. The Guinness Book of Records had become a global phenomenon, transcending its origins as a brewery giveaway. It stood as a testament to the fact that the thirst for knowledge and the fascination for the extraordinary are universal traits that bind humanity together. In 1998, the Guinness Book of Records underwent a significant transformation. A metamorphosis that would not only alter its appearance but also its essence. The book that had been known and loved for recording an array of world records, from the incredible to the downright bizarre, was about to embrace a new identity. 
Rebranded as the Guinness World Records, it shifted its focus towards the extraordinary feats of ordinary people, celebrating human achievements in a way that was unique to its brand. It was no longer just about the tallest, the fastest, or the largest. It was about the most, the best, the first. It was about celebrating the spirit of pushing boundaries and the courage of breaking new grounds. This rebranding was more than just a change in name. It was a transformation in how the records were perceived and presented. The book became more than just a compilation of records. It was a celebration of human potential. Each record told a story, a testament to the indomitable spirit of mankind and its relentless pursuit of excellence. The evolution didn't stop there. To keep up with the digital age, the Guinness World Records expanded its presence online with the launch of its website. This was a game changer. It allowed record enthusiasts around the globe to access information at their fingertips, submit record applications, and even witness record-breaking attempts live. The company didn't just limit itself to the printed word or digital space, it ventured into the realm of television, producing shows that brought record-breaking attempts into the living rooms of millions. The records were no longer just read about, they were watched, experienced, and celebrated by a worldwide audience. From a single book published in 1955 to an all-encompassing record-breaking platform, the journey was marked by innovation, evolution, and a constant drive to celebrate the remarkable. The Guinness World Records had evolved, becoming a multimedia record-breaking platform. Today, the Guinness World Records is more than just a book or a website. It's a name that resonates in the minds of people, young and old, across the globe. It's a testament to the human spirit, a chronicle of triumphs and wonder, a testament to our collective obsession with the extraordinary. The Guinness World Records has grown into a global brand, spreading its wings into multiple avenues. It's not just about the written records anymore, it's about creating experiences. The brand now boasts of its own television shows, museums, and live events, each avenue a celebration of human achievement, each record a story of perseverance, and each face a beacon of inspiration. The television shows have been instrumental in taking the records to people's living rooms, making the extraordinary feats accessible to all. They have been successful in showcasing the most awe-inspiring, mind-boggling achievements from around the world. The museums, scattered across the globe, are a tribute to the record breakers. They are a testament to the human capacity to dream and achieve. These museums encapsulate the spirit of the Guinness World Records, preserving the stories of those who dared to defy the norms, who dared to dream big. Live events, on the other hand, bring the thrill of record-breaking up close and personal. These events allow people to witness history in the making, to be a part of something extraordinary. There have been numerous notable records set recently, each more incredible than the last. From the largest gathering of people dressed as Albert Einstein, to the fastest time to solve a Rubik's Cube while blindfolded, each record is a testament to human ingenuity and determination. These diverse platforms have not only helped in expanding the reach of the Guinness World Records, but have also played a crucial role in inspiring millions to strive for their own personal bests. From a simple argument at a shooting party to a global multimedia brand, the Guinness World Records continues to feed our fascination with the extraordinary. We are and always will be in awe of the human potential to push boundaries and achieve the unthinkable. So, what have we learned today? We've journeyed through the intriguing world of records beginning with the genesis of the Guinness World Records. We've seen how a simple idea sparked by a hunting trip argument evolved into a globally recognized institution. We've delved into the first edition of this record book and its rapid growth, becoming an unexpected Christmas bestseller and a household name. We've traced its evolution, as it transitioned from being a marketing giveaway to a world-renowned record-keeping entity. Today, the Guinness World Record stands as a testament to human achievement and peculiarity, documenting everything from the incredible to the bizarre. It continues to grow, adapt, and evolve, capturing the world's attention and sparking our curiosity. Whether it's the longest fingernails or the largest collection of rubber ducks, the Guinness World Records continues to document the extraordinary, feeding our endless curiosity about the world's extremes.